What's up, family? Back here with another video for you guys. I know it's been a while since I made a video. I just really haven't had the time to, to record like I wanted to, but... And plus, I also started doing Uber Eats. You know, well, I haven't started doing it. I've been doing it for a while. I just been quiet with it, but you know, um, I kind of, I finally built up that, that motivation, put my pride to the side, you know, to, to not be ashamed that I have to do this, you know, or, I mean, sometimes pride can really get in your way with certain things that like you just worry about with somebody else others may say or think about you you know stuff like that but at the end of the day i got a family and i gotta provide for that family and bills need to be paid so you know i figured why not make content about this you know this the name of the channel is the life of Merk kid it's me it's my life you know so i'm gonna show y'all my ups and and my downs you know and it's not saying that this is so much a down just because i'm doing this because this is a way of making money you know and it's a very fairly easy way of making money so i'm gonna start bringing y'all along with me while i'm making this money so i'm already on my first order i gotta pick up at nardo's our Arundel Mills and we're gonna go drop that off and we're gonna see what else we can get so y'all come ride along with me just picked up the Nando's order now time to deliver it I used to hate doing mall orders because sometimes it'd be a little bit too much work sometimes you know you you got to find a parking spot and then you may get a parking spot that's like so far from the entrance. So you got to walk all the way to the entrance and then walk all the way in the mall and find a food spot. You know, like Arundel Mills, I'm familiar with it, the mall, the food court, but at the same time, I'm not really that familiar. So I be walking in there like a tourist. I just be looking around trying to find the food spots. But if it's paying decent, why not you know we out here to make money so let's make money i just dropped that off and now i took a picture and i like to leave a little message to say hope you enjoy and have a great evening And that's just, you know, just trying to be nice and to get that thumbs up. Next, we got another order where we got to pick up um, not too far from, like a mile from here. And it's going to drop us off at Ellicott City. It's paying $9.50 for 13 miles. Now, typically, that's something that I don't really do. But Ellicott City is more of my sweet spot where I like to be at. So... Let's make some money hitting over to Ellicott City. What I typically try to aim for is the dollar per mile orders. You know, like it, it got to make sense. We out here to make some money, so we're not out here to waste time. And plus, you know, we putting wear and tear on our car. So if we put wear and tear on our car, we might as well be making some money while we're doing it. You know, so I typically like to only go for the orders that are paying a dollar a mile or more now every now and then i might pick up an order where a dollar per mile might be a little less might be around maybe like 70 cents 75 cents like this order right here you know it all depends on if it's an area that i like to be in and like i said ellicott city it's normally my sweet area, my sweet spot. I like to stay between Ellicott City and Columbia. I normally do good in those areas. Sometimes Owens Mills is pretty good, especially on a dinner time like it is now. Um, so that's 
that's that's where we heading to right now. We heading to Ellicott City and hopefully we can have ourselves a good night. Now I know most people don't like to be out when it's raining. But to me, when you're doing this Uber Eats, I feel as though this is the best time to be out. Especially for dinner when it's raining. Because you got people that just don't feel like, you know, being outside in the rain. And especially at dinner time, people just getting off work, they tired, they don't feel like cooking. It's easy for them to just go out. And I like that. That helps me to make money. Now, as soon as I got back in the car, then this order popped up. And I love when double orders happen because, especially when like we picking up, this pickup is exactly one mile from where I'm at right now. And it's actually delivering in the same area that the first, this Chick-fil-A order I just picked up at. So it's like you get to kill two birds with one stone. It's it's like a it's a positive and a negative with when you get multiple orders. You get double orders, that's that's cool. But when you start to get around to you get triple orders. Now that's when it gets a little tricky. I had a triple order before and the first two pickups went cool. Picked the food up, in and out. Now the third order, I got there, the place was a little bit slow. You know, so I had to sit and wait. And I don't know if you pay attention like it when when you, if you order on Uber Eats, as soon as you pick your food up, like it, it, well, as soon as you accept the order, the person that put the order in, you know, they can see your location at that point. So at that point now, it's like, at that point, it's like your rating is in, is in the, the food, the, the, the restaurant hands, because you could pick out the first two orders and now them people are like, all right, cool my uber east driver picked up the food they should be here soon but it shows that you picking up a third order and now you sit and wait for that third order because that third order may not be ready you know and now the first two people now they starting to get impatient they are you already got that food now that food may be getting cold because you picking up a third order you know but like i say it's 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 good and it's bad with it it's good for you if you out here doing this because now you get to triple up on your money and majority of times some of the times not gonna say majority but some of the times if you want like a triple or double order they're most likely all are going to the same area you know so like i said you get to kill two birds three birds with one stone that's cool but at the same time if you get to the spot to pick up an order and you got to pick up another order and that one order isn't ready, that kind of throws you off. And now the customer's getting a little agitated because they didn't pay for that food. They want to receive that food nice and hot, you know? And you might have made a couple extra dollars, but you dropped your food, you dropped that food off to them and that food may be a little bit cold. You can best believe you know what's going to happen next. Get that thumbs down. And once you get at least about five thumbs down, now your satisfaction rate drops to like 95%. If you drop anything below 95%, you just lose the little rewards that points of you on. If you on green, you on gold, diamond, platinum, you know, whatever one that you want, you just won't be able to use those rewards until you get back to customer satisfaction to 95% or above. But some people don't care about that satisfactory uh rating i care about it you know because i too order food when i'm in the house and i don't feel like you know making nothing and it's easy for me to just 
order some food, you know, so I understand what the customer, how they feel on the other end too. So I always try to, you know, put the customer first and make sure, you know, they good. If I'm running behind, you know, shoot them a little quick text, let them know, hey, picking up this order, you know, it's not ready right now. Just, you know, just keep them updated. Some people will really appreciate that. That way, once you drop that order off, you can still get that thumbs up. So I'm back at Chick-fil-A. I thought that um, the second order I was picking up was uh, a mile away, but actually that was the delivery. So I dropped that order off and now I'm back here at Chick-fil-A again. Don't know why Oop Eats did it like that. I felt like that was just dumb a little bit on Uber Eats part. Meaning though, I was already here. Like I had just got in the car, started the car, and then the order came through. You know, so if I'm already here at this place, it could have just let me go right back inside and pick up that second order. And then I could have dropped that, the first one off and then I've been on the way dropping the second one off like I'm doing now, you know, but that's, that's the ups and downs that happened with Uber Eats. Maybe it did that, so it gave them time to prepare the food. So once I got back, the food was already ready for me. I don't know. To me, I sh they should have sent me right back in there to grab the food. But I ain't complaining, because we out here making money. All right, thanks, buddy. Uh -huh. All right, so I got one more delivery. I just dropped off my last order, which that was pretty cool because the dude was already outside waiting for it once I pulled up. I love when that happens. You order food, that means you should be watching out for the app when I'm gonna pull up. So once I pull up, you already ready. Because one thing I can't stand is when you order food and I pull up and I'm out front and it say meet at the door or something and I'm calling and I, I send a text message. You're not answering the door and then when I call, it goes straight to voicemail. I, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. So I always appreciate once I pull up and the people are already outside waiting for, the, waiting for the food, waiting for me to pull up. I appreciate them people. But I'm on the way to pick up this last order and then I think I'm calling it quits after that because it's almost 9.30 and I gotta be back up early tomorrow morning. So let's go ahead and pick this last order up and deliver this so we can get to the house. Last order of the night. All right, so that was the last order I just dropped off. I'm tired. I'm ready to go in the house. Um, I started at 5.30, so it was like 9.30. I gotta wait for all my tips to come through. Usually that takes around like an hour, up to an hour after your last delivery that you deliver. But normally when I do dinner, I seem to always finish somewhere around $20 an hour so we're going to see we're going to see how much money I made tonight so far as long as I'm I'm at that at least $20 an hour I'm okay with that I'm happy with that that means it was worth 
coming out here. You know? But, like I said, I'm about to head to the crib because I'm tired, I'm hungry, and yeah. Just go get, go home, wash up, eat, refresh, go to sleep, wake up tomorrow, and do the same thing again. So I see y'all, I'm about to say next week. Uh, not next week. I see y'all tomorrow. Y'all stay safe out there. Catch y'all the next video.